Hello my butterfly babies and welcome to my channel. This channel is designed to help you break out of your cocoon and to rise and fly. So today's reading is going to be a candle wax reading. I wanted to do a candle wax reading. It's something different, it's fun, it has good information for you. And I'm going to try to do at least one candle wax reading um, every month, okay? So we're trying to find out from the reading today what you need to know right now. So you have two bowls and two candles to choose from. You have the pink candle, which is, you know, bowl number one, the pink candle, and bowl number two, the purple candle. So go ahead and pick your bowl, pick your candle rather, either the pink candle or the purple candle, and we will start your reading. Okay, I'll see you at your reading once you pick your pile. Okay, so let's get started with pile one, which is the pink candle or bowl one. We'll just say pile one because we'll both we'll say bowl one. <laughs> okay, so we're bowl number one. If you picked this pink candle, this is your reading. Now we're trying to find out today what you need to know right now. So we want to get some messages from this candle wax reading to find that out. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the water into the bowl. Okay. Love the sound of water. So soothing. And so smooth and soothing. Okay, and now we're going to start the reading. So we're going to find out what you need to hear and what you need to know right now from this candle wax reading. Okay, so we're going to start the reading. Okay. Hmm, okay. So the first thing I'm seeing is that you are going to be doing something with a group of people. Um, I'm seeing like um, like camping. Uh, let's see. And I'm also seeing that you are part of a, a, star, a star seed family, okay? And you have you have a lot of spiritual gifts is what I'm seeing right off the bat. Oh wow. Okay, the number five is important to you right now, okay? So that could be a date, the fifth of the month. Something very significant is going to happen. And I'm also seeing a cross. There was a cross that I saw there. Okay, yeah. And I'm, I'm feeling like right now, you need to, you need, you need relaxation. So I'm feeling like a lot of stress that needs to be released. Okay, let's see. I'm also seeing like, almost like what looks like a helicopter or a plane. So it looks like some of you are going to be traveling very soon. And it's going to be really enjoyable for you. I'm also seeing somebody, somebody in a relationship where it's a little bit, um, someone, someone cares about the other person more and one person is pursuing the other person more. I don't know if it's either you are pursuing your partner more or they're pursuing you more, but right now it's not like a balanced situation. So if you're the one that's pursuing more, I'm hearing that it's you need to pull back to see if they will come and, you know, start getting more of an equal partnership. Okay. I'm also seeing like coins in a fountain. I'm hearing there's some like song, um, three coins in a fountain. So I'm hearing like you're making a wish, a special wish and you're like doing, like you're almost like 
throwing coins into a fountain. You know how people throw coins into a fountain for good luck? I'm seeing someone doing that and and wishing really hard for like a very special wish. And I'm seeing a lot of coins. So I'm seeing that you are going to, if your wish involves money, there, there are a lot of coins that are coming, a lot of... um like a lot of prosperity is coming as a result of your wish coming true. But I feel like right now you're in a stage where you're really, really hoping, wishing, praying um, for a special wish that you've wanted for a long time. Okay. And I'm seeing something with someone's doing, trying to do exercise, a lot of exercise, like, um, with gym equipment, um, I'm seeing a trampoline. I'm seeing like, um, what is it? A stepper? You know the um, what is it called? It's a piece of gym equipment. It's like almost like an elliptical, I guess, like where you a stepper. So, so someone's trying to get themselves back in shape, um, take better care of their health. Um, I feel like you're going to. I feel like right now. Any efforts you make towards, towards improving your health is going to be really successful at this time. You're going to see like results um, and the results are going to make you continue, like want to continue um, doing more and more, you know, like it's almost like you're going to become addicted to being healthy and fitness. Okay. I'm also seeing some of you outside hiking and actually going outdoors um, and enjoying like walking as part of um, getting exercise. I'm also hearing that you're going to be invited to a group event. It's almost like I'm seeing an audience. I'm seeing a stage. It's almost like a concert or some kind of performance. And I'm seeing that you may even be, I see people in the audience, so you may be invited to, if you're invited to some kind of concert or play or event where there's, you know, where there's a big auditorium or a big theater with lots of seats, accept the invitation because I'm hearing it's, you're going to really enjoy it. And something really fortunate is going to happen. Like, I feel like you're going to either meet someone there or learn something from, like, it's, what is it, inspiration almost from, from that. Okay. I'm also seeing someone's, like, a pet. Someone's adopting a pet soon. That's going to bring them a lot of joy. Okay, wow, that's interesting. Let's see what else we have. Okay, so somebody has been spending a lot of money. <laughs> Somebody's been going like kind of over their budget, so to speak. But I'm hearing I'm hearing that someone's been kind of spoiling. You may have been spoiling yourself lately, like spending more money on like going out to eat or um, or shopping, going, you know, but like more money than you normally spend. And, and it's kind of, um, it's been, you, you, you're happy because it was, you've been having fun, but then it's kind of, um, you've been spending more money than you usually spend. And I'm hearing that coming soon, you're going to be kind of pulling back the reins a little bit to get yourself back on the right financial track. And again, with the wish and with the money coming in, money is not going to be a problem. You're going to you're going to have plenty of money to spend on on different things when your wish is fulfilled is what I'm hearing, but right now is not the time to like burn a lot of money on, you know, spend a lot of money on things that you kind of know in your heart that you don't necessarily need right now. Okay. I'm hearing professor. So 
some of you may be in school and you may have to like talk to your professor. Um, I'm hearing some of you are taking like extra courses, like maybe, I don't know if it's like summer school or summer courses, um, but you're going to be talking to either the professor or the, the trainer and they're going to actually help you like more on a one-on-one -on -one basis, which is really nice. Like they're going to take you under their wing. So if that's not now, then when you, when you go back to any kind of training or schooling, you're going to have that one person taking you under their wing. I'm here. I'm, I'm seeing fish. I'm hearing that somebody's going to be going fishing and then somebody is going to be Somebody's been eating a lot of um, dishes with fish, and it's actually really healthy. So I'm hearing continue to, you know, as long as obviously if you like fish and you're not allergic to it, of course, but fish is going to be something really healthy. And then also someone is actually fishing out on like a pier or a lake, and it's really enjoyable and, and really fun is what I'm hearing. And someone, someone, someone's spirit animal is the koi fish. And koi fish actually bring a lot of, um, a lot of really good fortune to people. You know, money and abundance and good fortune. So somebody's spirit animal is the koi fish. And if you've never really, if you don't know much about the koi fish, I'm hearing, um, please, you know, please go online and, and research, like, why the koi fish is considered very fortunate okay because that's your spirit animal at this time okay somebody's riding a bike outdoors so there's there's a lot of activity in this reading i'm hearing a lot of activity so even for those of you who haven't really been doing a lot of like activity or exercise, you're going to be doing a lot of that coming up soon. And you're, like I said, you're actually going to end up enjoying it. I'm hearing, I'm hearing like, even if you didn't enjoy it, or even that, even if you didn't really want to do it, once you start doing it, it's almost going to become like a hobby for you. Okay. And that's okay. So I'm also seeing a lotus flower. So somebody's been doing a lot of meditating and getting spiritual enlightenment and downloads. Wow. And these downloads that you're getting are actually helping you manifest your special wish that you were putting the coins in the fountain for. This is really, this has been, this is your reading. <laughs> I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until until next time. And until then, I will see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies. Okay, we're going to move on to pile number, or bowl number two, I should say. <laughs> okay. Bowl number two, candle number two. If you selected the purple candle, this is your reading. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and Start our candle wax reading and pour the water in. Just listen to that nice waxing water. Okay, so let's see for bowl two, the purple candle. See what your reading has to tell us. What you need to know right now. I'm hearing birthday. So someone has a birthday coming soon or you're gonna be attending a birthday party of someone very special or close to you. And I'm hearing two hearts become one. So, so two hearts become one, meaning that someone is going to meet their soulmate and fall in love soon. And I'm hearing it's going to be very, um, very intense. It's very different than, than any other relationships. 
I'm also seeing like, I'm seeing a frog. So I'm, I'm seeing a frog and I'm hearing the frog, like the frog is, is, is basically, <laughs> the frog is, is, is letting you know that, that you, um, oh gosh, what is it? You're going to be, you're going to be jumping from one thing into another. Okay. So it's like, you may be on one path, but you're going to like leapfrog is what I'm hearing. You're going to leapfrog into something new. That's going to be really exciting for you. <laughs> and I'm also, I'm also seeing, I'm hearing pizza. Okay. So somebody's, somebody's going to be either eating or ordering pizza soon. And it's going to be in, it might even be at a party is what I'm hearing. So it could be at the birthday party that we were talking about. And you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing, I'm seeing the sacred heart, which is the sacred heart. Um, this is, I'm seeing the sacred heart of Jesus. So I'm, I'm hearing that you're very, very divinely protected at this time. So you don't need to feel, I feel some of you have been anxious. I'm feeling some anxiety. So I'm, so I'm hearing that you don't need to feel that anxiety because everything is as it should be. And you're being divinely protected by the sacred heart. Wow. That's, so it doesn't matter what, you know, what your beliefs are, but it's, it still represents you being extremely divinely protected. Okay. But it is the sacred heart of Jesus. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm seeing twins. I'm hearing twins and I'm seeing twins. So the twins is significant at this time. For fertility, somebody may be conceiving twins. Some of you might already have twins. But I'm also hearing twins as in a double blessing as well. Like, you know, like a double financial blessing. Instead of, instead of like you're thinking you're getting one amount and you end up getting double the amount in some way. Okay. Wow. That's. Okay. I'm seeing trees, really, really big, like pine trees. And so I'm seeing somebody going out into the forest um, or going hiking and pile number one had that too. But these are, these are very big trees, like, like those big pine trees, redwood trees, um, really, really large trees. Okay. And I'm hearing that somebody, somebody's moving, okay, from one house to another or from one apartment to another. Some of you might be buying an actual house and going from an apartment to a house, but I do hear that somebody's going to be moving at some point coming up, but I do hear that you're going to be happier, a lot happier at the new place the new place that you move to. There's going to be a lot of joy. You're going to feel peace and joy at that new location. Okay. I'm hearing, I'm seeing like a, like a fan, like a propeller. So I'm um, almost like a fan that has the, the blades so you guys are going to, it's telling me that you guys are going to be like trying to cool yourselves down. It's going to get hot. And you're going to be using a fan to cool down. And then some of you, there's a propeller. So some of you are going to be traveling. I'm hearing... I'm hearing don't put your eggs all in one basket, okay? So you might have your heart set on one specific thing, but it's telling it's telling me to like 
telling me that you need to know that don't just count on only one thing. Have plan, you know, B and C ready. Okay? Because plan B and C may, you know, may be the plan that you're supposed to take, but and you might have your heart just completely set or your mind really set on one thing, but it's just saying don't do it all in one spot. Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing a shamrock, like <laughs> you know, like um the shamrock, the four leaf clover. Okay, so I'm hearing luck. I'm hearing that you're gonna that you're gonna do something that is like unexpected luck. So it's not something that you um are expecting. It's gonna be like you're, you might you might win something like a contest or like um or an award is what I'm hearing. You might be winning. It sounds like you're gonna be winning an award at work, and I'm seeing. I'm seeing this this large this large figure. So I'm seeing going back to you being protected. It's like it's almost like you have an angel guide who's a really big, big figure that's like your supernatural bodyguard. <laughs> okay. And this this um supernatural spirit guide, he like you'll sometimes if you've noticed, you'll kind of like you might be, you might hear, like actually hear, spiritually hear directions from this spirit guide. And if you do, follow him because he's trying to protect you or, or the figure. I'm hearing a masculine, um, I'm feeling a masculine energy. And that's why I said he, because it's a, like a large masculine energy. Okay, I'm hearing keys. So you, you want to, it's, this is letting me know that keys are significant. You want to make sure that you put your keys in the same place every day or, you know, have a special place because I'm hearing that don't lose your keys. That's <laughs> what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay. Well, that looks like it's going to be the end. But I, but you know, you, this reading, the fact that you're so divinely protected and that you've got this fortune, this really lucky fortune that's coming your way, it's really exciting. Okay. And again, you're going to, you're going to get out and you're going to go to that place where it's like a, the forest area. And I feel like you're going to have some kind of like enlightenment you know, while, while, while you're going through all the trees. But anyway, so this has been your reading, your candle wax reading. reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, bowl, bowl number two. <laughs> and uh, you have a lot to, a lot of interesting, interesting things going on at this time. Okay. So I really do hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye, my butterfly babies.